Yeah. Sorry, I cut off that video. So when I say the word squirrel, he's just all over it. <laughs> just all over it. <laughs> it just drives him crazy. And yes, we have squirrels. So he goes nuts. Okay. So um, we still need to put fencing. So back now I have this um, black canvas tarp that I ordered online. Um, I have that back there. It's like 60 feet. But I need to start putting up the fencing. Uh, nosy neighbors. We've had trespassers on the property. And like I said, uh, a chicken po been poisoned to just disappearing in daylight. Not nighttime. Daylight. Uh, disappearing. Um, so that has... So we're starting fencing. I mentioned in the video I was going to discuss... Hey! 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 Knock it off. Uh, I'll have the conversation about the fencing here. Some snooty neighbors uh, over there. And uh, so I wanted to let them know that, you know, we're going to put a fence up here. An ugly fence, too. Like recycled wood, ugly fence. So if you want to put a nice new fence next to your nice new rebuilt house because their house was crushed by trees or our trees during the storm. Uh, so they just had this house rebuilt within the past, like, what, like one two three months i mean it's brand new rebuilt i don't even think they're living in there full time um anyway um i put that up there as an incentive that ugly piece of fence and pig is just laying across it just to incentive like low motivation you know hey i don't think you want to look at this whole ugly dilapidated fence so if you want to um want something nice to look at every day in your front yard uh, you might want to put up a nice new fence and then that's a benefit for them and it benefits me but I have to fence my back <laughs> my back area so we did this only to block the chickens from going out even though the rest of the land behind is ours as well that's some of this gonna move this some of the wood we found our neighbor tore down their old fences and we got the old fence wood uh, get away from here got nails in it come on baby nails, nails. Uh, goats are really lovable this is Shirley she is not as lovable. I'm sorry, Shirley, but it's the truth. It is not. She is not as lovable as Laverne. She's sweet. And don't let me leave and be out her sight. She will call. They sound like cows when they move. She's the only one that's verbal. Uh, my Laverne, <laughs> who gets into mischief and trouble. Uh, Laverne, back here. Now, Laverne, the same leaves that are in front of the tarp are the exact same leaves that are behind the tarp, Laverne. But goat logic. Hi, Laverne. She is so sweet. She's like a dog. She's lovable. She wants rubs. No, boy wants some rubs. She loves her rubs. It's like she wants to kiss me. My son. Oh. Hey, knock it off over there. This is a concert. You know my mom here by myself. This is my pe Hey! Hey! Knock it off. As stated, you know I'm out here by myself and it's very peaceful. But my son is out here today, which is unusual. Really unusual. So, um, like I said, it's hard enough getting him out in the daytime, let alone first thing in the morning. And it comes with all this commotion. It takes away from my peace. Cotton ball, enjoying his best life. And this I just love. This gives me peace. The zen, watching them just, you know, eat and go at it. So we're about to move the animals, but I just I wanted to do um, a video so that you can see um just a little bit i haven't even walked to the front of the yard on the other side but i did want to um uh just kind of make a longer video give you some something educational so you know hey this this isn't just uh someone just posting crap like i said you will learn a lot on here i i guess i'm addicted to diy so i am the um avid diyer so you're going to see lots and lots of projects that we're working on i'm working on uh chicken coops the goat shelter um decking um 
I'm even going to make raccoon houses and rabbit houses. We have lots of, well, we used to have lots of rabbits up in here and probably still do. My chickens get under here. We cut back. Let me take that back. The goats, <laughs> sorry. The goats have been in this area eating away because it was just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. A lot of overgrowth. Lots and lots of overgrowth. If anyone can identify identify this vine, please let me know. But it is very um, invasive. It is just it's taking over the yard. I don't know what this is, but it has taken over the yard. Somebody told me that it's wisteria. I don't know, but it's just everywhere. So let me get a close up so you can kind of see what this is if you know please identify let me know it's just everywhere it's just everywhere the goats eat it it took me it took them a while they didn't want to come i don't know i guess i had so much other stuff they were eating it took me a while to get them back here so now they're back here. we can walk you could not enter this at all it this was everything was like that i'm five foot four this stuff is 20 feet tall <laughs> you know and you couldn't get back here but the goats <laughs> who knew who knew now i had been checking out goats for online for over a year maybe two years online but again all of this you couldn't you couldn't see you couldn't know hey i'm walking on the dog hey get away, come on get away come on i'm stepping on your collar get away come on. so yeah we couldn't get back here at, oh, I almost fell at all i've been cutting we cut this is a daily thing that's why the term is homesteading <laughs> it's like never ending it is an act of constantly doing goat dropping so we have this for this fertilizer but that's a big poo ball we call it or meatball we call it meatball hey we need to move shirley to the need to all be eating get her so she can eat um we are putting up fencing i'm going to show you that uh we're still cleaning out this area again if you see i am walking on the dock okay so we couldn't walk back here all of this was dense from starting from right at that tree it was just dense all of this was has been cut back you couldn't get back here it was just dense so this just took, I started with my hand clippers, then the chainsaw, the goats, and now look, we have all this walkable space that was not walkable. None of this. This was all dense. Even up to the goat shelter. Dense. This was wood. All woods. <laughs> we took back the land. Just me and my son. Mainly me. Not bragging. Just saying my son, what they say, it was a lover, not a fighter. My son avoids work, <laughs> however, whenever possible, he avoids. <sighs> so um, have to get all up in this area. It took, it was a challenge for me one day. I was like, okay, the wood area started like where I am, and I was just determined that day. I was like, you know what? I'm going to touch that tree today. It was just, I just said, I'm gonna touch that tree today. And I went at it with hand clippers. And I ate out an area of about, what, 15 feet or more? You know, from here out to here. I don't know. Ate out all of that. And now we could touch the tree. So, I know in the winter a lot of stuff dies. But this stuff is here all year. It kind of goes down a little bit. But this stuff is here. So, um, we have a lot to do. Uh, we're keeping a lot of its privacy right now until the fences go up. Once the fences are up, I will go in there. We'll put in some, like, structures, tiny houses. We're going to put, you know, some decks back here, you know, like to hold, like, a fireplace. We want to put a sauna over time. I am a single mom, so my budget is very, very, um, <laughs> uh, very, what should I say, uh, limited. Very limited. Very limited. So anyway, you can see how I've been cutting the vines, cutting the root systems. So when I cut the root systems, my nails are messed. Don't judge me. 
I cut the root system and so the vines are dying up there. That tree was uh, bent from the storm, Hurricane Ida. So, um, and probably previous storms as well helped it lean like that. So uh, it, pro it probably needs to be cut. I want to just get all the vines off and see if if the tree is alive because at this point it really looks like it's just been overtook by vines the tree may be dead so i am i just want to see this i'm told is a mulberry tree or elderberry tree i'm not sure a girlfriend told me i haven't gone on any apps to verify and apparently i have other elderberry trees and bushes in the back as well so we'll see i don't know i'll have to check that out on the app this area here was completely dense up to where I am. So here, here to me was dense. I had some help um, with some, vol some volunteers. And uh, we, well, my volunteers just went up in there. So they went in there, I don't know, 10, 15 feet. Uh, so the plan is I will build a structure. I want to put my workhouse here. Either a tiny house or a workshop because I build a lot of things so I need me like a 10 by 10 workshop so that is a project that I will be tackling in the upcoming future future so you will see me put me a workshop there the trees I like um, like I said to keep I want to plant some more um fruit trees like I planted apple tree apple tree and this was with pineapple guava i said that in another video i'm hoping the trees the roots is less so there because i think my goats may have eaten at least this one I may have eaten it so we'll see time will tell um my first time growing fruit trees and first time with goats we've had our goats i don't even know the exact date right now to be honest, we had to go two or three months. I, I don't remember anymore. Um, that's another story. It's in another video. Check out the videos. And um, okay, we, oh, I, and we stop. Dug this myself. Um, a pit to roast the pig. So we had a pig roast. Um, I will put pictures online later about that. This whole area was densely wooded, and uh, I did this hand clippers and a chainsaw and open this up here and I want to keep the canopy I like it I want to keep the canopy tell me what you think but I like having this open canopy area this used to be a, a tent um like we use it for the restrooms and stuff but we don't use that anymore so that's gonna come down but this area I have some ideas in mind for this area one I need to put a shed there first reason for privacy just like he did he just recently put these up all within the month these two sheds for his privacy so I'll add one more there for my privacy I didn't like my neighbors putting the children's toy things up there and they, and they have more than one and they could just directly look into our yard I don't like that so um yes I love trees and I will be putting up some other features for privacy fencing as well and back here the plan is I want to put a, um, a little uh, tiny house here and then let this be a courtyard and then I'd like to have another tiny house there but I have another fallen tree or I think I said two fallen trees from the storm and that sucker is big so the ground was too wet to move it so the heavy equipment couldn't get back here uh so it'll just be that's armageddon you know it'll stay there uh i don't have a problem with it they cut the area that went into the the, the open area that's cut off but that big the tree is this blocking area that i wanted to use i wanted to put another little tiny house there and let this be a courthouse area so when i had have guests in town my guests could be here in the wooded area you know you know and just you know someone there and someone on this side and then everybody just kind of meet in the middle and you know fellowship talk eat whatever in this area so you will see things happening over time as i said 
we are still closing holes. There are so many holes on the property from trees, and I had lots of holes filled, but I found more holes in the wooded areas where other trees have fallen. Hey, you. You following me? This is ornery feather. Like I said, feather will pluck you in a heartbeat or jump on you with his spurs. He can be lovable. Sometimes. Rarely. There he goes. Oh, you want to attack me? Are you going to show on camera you attacking me? Huh? You going to show attacking me? What? What? See? What? What? <laughs> you want to attack my camera? <laughs> He's so ornery. And because they're not um, mating, they're not mating because I have... Uh, <laughs> So you got to see that um, they're not mating because uh, my Rhode Island Red won't allow anyone to mate with her. And my four black ladies aren't um, in heat yet. What's the, what's the chicken word? <laughs> what's the chicken word for that? They are not, um, you know, sexually ready, sexually mature yet. But um, they should be ready in a month or two, I think. I have to think it's so much on my mind I can't remember when we got them uh, and they are tractor supplies you have to get four and I want to ask your lords because I follow um youtuber lead former 73 get lots of wisdom from him <laughs> and all his shenanigans uh, over there love lead farmer and lady lead so shout out uh, but anyway we got to ask the lords because they are a medium sized chicken and our silkies are considered small chickens, real petite small chickens. Uh, so they laid really small eggs. My my silkies, which are what the roosters there are. They're, that's why they're a small rooster, because they're silkies. But these astrolorps are a medium to large chicken. These chickens are, hey black lady, we call them the black ladies. These chickens, hey girls, following me. They're more skittish, but they're bigger. You can see there, and they're only uh, let me see, two, three months. These are not old chickens, two, three months, and they've gotten really big. We had them; they were just little babies, holding it in one hand, and they got really big, really fast, <laughs> really fast. Uh, compared to our silkies, our silkies are like two years old, and they're smaller than these who are only like three months old maybe um but they love we we let them free range we started everybody uh you know hey oh the new baby that's the red's baby are you chasing someone are you chasing someone a little bit and why aren't you with mom where is mom you have ventured away from where where is um where's gloria Attack the little chicken. Oh, there she's coming from under the deck. Cause I'm like, baby, uh, trouble's over here by herself. <laughs> Look at that. They go off like a little family. Two daddies, a mom, and a baby. Well, it's actually an uncle. Yeah, uncle. Yeah, my son says uncle. So yeah, I guess that's true. Mom, mom, dad, and uncle. <laughs> but uncle like he like. Uh, I want to get with your la your lady. I want I want to share your woman with you. <laughs> now this over here. Um, I just made this card in. So I have screening. Let's go get my screening from the front by the deck, by the other garden. I have to, um, again, learning process, educational. When you make your gardens before you do anything, you need to fence them in. <laughs> you need to fence them in. These, everything was so much nicer. But between the goats and the chickens and the wild animals, they destroyed it. When I say destroyed it, destroyed immediately. Immediately. I planted all sorts of things in here. And the very next day, it was destroyed. The wildlife, raccoons, possums, whatever, had went through it and picked everything out. So I have to start that type of garden. When I do my kitchen scrap garden, it has to be in my greenhouse. Um, learning lesson, I told you, educational. You'll learn with me. Um... And so then I went and cleaned everything out and laid a fresh layer of straw on top. Just lay it there. I was going, okay. I'm, you know, I'm going to need more to go around here, but okay. Um, so I'll use, never mind. It's okay. So anyway, um, maybe I do this today. 
with my I have a, just a staple gun. My staple gun will be fine with this, and I'll probably cut like some two by four edges. I mean, those those are four by four. Fred caught a lizard. Oh, I see it. Fred has a lizard in his mouth. My silky. <laughs> Frat must not see his lizard because Frat's not trying to get it. You got a lizard, boy? You got a lizard. Look at you. He's like, look what I got. I got a lizard. This is something new. It's strange. <laughs> now, we've seen them eat dragonflies and, you know, worms, of course. Ah, oh, he took it. <laughs> Stole it. Okay. So, uh, yeah, that's the first. So... Now, this goes out to uh, the chicken chick lady, <laughs> who I used to really, uh, and I, I, I still do, I still watch her her site um, now and then, not every day like I used to, but now and then, um, but for new chicken owners, I do recommend her, her website uh, on Facebook, the chicken chick lady, but anyway, she's really like, um, you know, you know, you only feed your chickens, feed, this is it. You know, it has everything they need, nothing more, but her chicken is free, free um, graze. Uh, so I'm like, okay, you do know the chickens are eating everything in that yard, worms and bugs and lizards, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> They're eating all that in the yard. Uh, yeah, ours, uh, I killed a snake this year, had got in my chicken coop. That's the first time we had one in the, the chicken, um, that thingy there that thingy and um i just killed well last month and um i left it in there for the chickens they pecked it pecked it pecked it pecked it pecked it uh and what they didn't eat or want the next morning i threw it out and then the wildlife ate the rest i never saw it like one one day after a little piece and then after that that was it never saw it again but yeah i killed i don't know what kind of snake it was so don't ask i don't know um, okay, here's a, a tree, because I told you we went through the hurricane, and I still have pieces of trees. I told you this is a work in progress. So this is a huge piece of tree stump that, it was a big pine tree, thank you, that, um, we couldn't get out of here. So, another project. I'll start over time just chucking at it, you know, with the axe or the chainsaw, taking pieces off, or let the dirt fall off, and see what I could do. Uh, if not, it'll be a permanent fixture. It is what it is. Well, I'll try to burn it. Uh, I try not, and this is going into winter, mid-October. So as I tell my son, we're not burning all our wood. We're trying to keep, I have a lot of burn piles right now. That's three right there, one, and then a two pre-storm burn pile, and a third pre-storm pile there. Um, and then I have one way over there as well. And then there's one on the other side of the property as well. So, um, but for the winter, and they're talking about these this cold winter, dark winter, you know, with the war and gas prices. So I'm like, let's hold on to our wood. <laughs> you just never know right now. Let's just hold on to our wood for a while, you know, not burn everything. Uh, but we have, you see, we have the pit that I dug, you know, we have grills and all kind of stuff for fire. So my this site you will um you will learn not just as we learn but i am ex-military ex-marine should i say my son was uh cub scouts and um i believe in prepping so you're going to learn prepping on here um survival skills uh uh food um food storage hey my, my son like I said, normally I'm out here by myself, so my son has me a little stressed out this morning. We need to get the well back working. It's not working. We got old fencing that we picked up just last week. Somebody tore down their, their fence, and we just asked for the old wood and some new wood that I had and some wood from the storm. This was a shower, outside shower that I had uh, up, and the trees knocked it over during Hurricane Ida. So I just dug it out the woods, <laughs> dug it out the woods, and stood it up here for now because we haven't finished this. I have a lot of incomplete projects because it's just me. Again, the name of my website, <laughs> Black Single Mom <laughs> Homestead on the Bayou.
as I said, normally it's just me out here. Okay, so you hear that single mom sigh. <sighs> Let it roll off. Let it roll off. Let the stress roll off. So, uh, we had to... Let me rephrase it. I <laughs> had to um, just see how long or how the distance where the fence would stop. I need something to section off my goats. Not just here, but in the back of the property as well to keep them contained because goats are very mischievous. Um, so anyway, nothing's in the ground at this point because I just had to see you know, just I'm checking things out. Is this going to work? I have to look at it for a while. Let's just see, you know, is this going to work for me? Is this going to fulfill a purpose? The leftover fencing wood, you know, still has nails in it. We've been hammering the nails down. Um, all this was dense wood. When I say dense, dense all the way out until the green grass there dense and i had to mow 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 to cut a space because we lost like i said pine trees hurricane ida hurricane ida and i lost a lot of trees there i lost lots of trees i like like 10 i'm out, 10 big ones and who knows how many small ones who knows you can see through there that big tree that fallen tree there is the tip of it there and it goes through the woods this is, again, more pieces of that shower that got broken during Hurricane Ida. So, um, I will, as soon as I feel like this fence, okay, I can live with that. 